guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I'm going to show you some of my favourite skincare products for my acne prone skin. These are products that have really helped me to calm my skin and kind of clear it up. These things don't always work and obviously I am still getting acne and everything but these are definitely things that do help me towards having better skin. These are things that work for me but may not possibly work for you. The same as I've looked up plenty of other things online that have worked for other people and tried them myself but it just doesn't get on with my skin or anything. But I just wanted to show you a few products today which I really really love. The first is this Balance Me Cleanse and Smooth Face Balm. This one is just full of really good products. I think it's, it says it's 100% natural, so it's just full of really good products for your skin. It smells amazing. It's just a balm that you put onto dry skin and then apply warm water to like emulsify it and you just kind of rub it in and then you take it off with a muslin cloth or a face sponge or something. And it just really helps your skin to feel like nourished and everything as well as it cleansing and just really calming. It's got some really good ingredients in there for calming the skin. And this was one of the first few products that I started using I noticed such a big difference in my skin and this is one that I always go to when I start to have like flare-ups of acne and everything again this really helps just to set the base and really help nourish my skin I do also use just normal face washes but none of them really help my skin as much as this I believe but they do do the job of just cleansing my skin a product which I absolutely swear by is Witch Hazel. You can pretty much get this at any sort of pharmacy or sort of like drugstore or like um, something like Boots or Superdrug. Especially if you get the sort of like cystic acne, which is when it's like bumps under the skin and everything. I used to get it really badly on my cheeks. And I started using this just on a cotton pad and kind of putting it on. And it really helped to kind of, I guess it dries it out. So be careful with how much you do put on. But it really helped to clear the acne I was getting on my cheeks, which was quite bad. And I do use it every now and again more recently, but otherwise this did really help when I first was getting really bad acne. This is one of the things that actually did really help my skin. So I'd say give it a go if you're struggling with things like that at the moment. Two other absolute favourites for me. These have got to be the basics. These are alongside the witch hazel, things that have really, really helped my acne. Once again, especially when I first was getting it really badly back in the day. This is Sudocrem which is like an antiseptic healing cream. Once again, you can get this from a lot of pharmacies and drugstores. This is just basically, it's for plenty of things, but it's normally known for like a nappy rash cream for babies. This is a brand, but they do like own brand ones or different brands as well. And I'm pretty sure they all work the same just because the main ingredient is zinc oxide, which helps to heal your skin, I believe. So this one is something that really, I used to put it on, like smother on, do a whole face mask of it basically, and just go to sleep with it on. And my skin would be looking 10 times better in the morning. This just really helps to heal things up, especially if you do have spots that you pick at. It just really helps to heal them up quite quickly. And then the other one is Savlon, which is an antiseptic cream again. I really did think this helped, especially when I had it on my cheeks. This is this and Witch Haze were the first sort of few things I started using when I was getting acne. And these just really helped. It just helps to keep everything like cleansed and as antibacterial as much as possible, which is one of the different types of reasons why you might be getting acne. It's really cheap, you can get own brand ones of them and everything, so it is just a basic and it really helps me. I do the same thing again, I would just put it on spots individually or I'd put it all over my face for like a face mask treatment. But this is an absolute basic. These two are just, this I just recommend. It's nothing else you're gonna get from the video. Get these two and just really give it a go and see. They just work for so many other skin issues and everything as well, so they're always handy to have. This product I have been using for a year, two years now, and this is the Pie, Pay, possibly, skincare. This is the Rose Hip Bioregenerate Oil. It does stain. If you get it onto anything, it is bright orange here, it will stain. I've dropped it onto a white t-shirt before and I had to do everything to get the oil out, or also onto like bedding or clothing or anything, it will stain that. So if you have like white bed sheets and stuff and you put it on, be very careful for that. But otherwise you just put a few drops onto your face and massage it in. Once again, I usually use this one at night. I do put it on during the day as well. But at night time is just, because it is an oil, I just feel like it goes into my skin better for that. Recently I was getting a really bad bout of acne again, like more like mask knee type thing. And it was really like red and just aggressive along my chin line. And it just, it just seemed like it just wouldn't stop. And then I went and put this on and the next morning I woke up my skin looked so much calmer and I just thought to myself, why did I not use this sooner? I've been, I've had this and I do use it again and again and again. But when I had that bad acne, I was thinking, why did I not reach for this soon? Because it really made such a difference and I've been using it back into my skincare routine again now, just because I know that it does really good things for my skin. 
It is full of good like omegas and fatty acids, I believe, rosehip oil. So that's always a really good one. I have tried other brands of rosehip oil, but this is the one that I find really makes such a difference. This is the one I would go for. It is kind of pricey. You can get it in a smaller bottle and also do like Christmas sets and stuff like that. So it's really nice to get in the sets of those. But otherwise it does last me a really long time. I've had this one since last Christmas. And I do pretty much use it every single day at best. But this is how much I've used up. But as you can see, you do get a lot of use out of it and it is really good. So I do recommend this one as well. One that I found recently, this is similar to the Pixie Glow Toner. This is the Lacora Healthy Glow Retinal Toner. This is from Audi, I believe. They do two different types. So we have got another one here, but I just really like this one. This has got niacinamide in it, retinal and jasmine flower. It's just a bit more gentle on my skin than the normal glycolic acid one. And with the retinal and niacinamide in it, it I think it really helps with my pores and everything. So I like this one. I wouldn't necessarily say that this does good things for my acne or stops my acne, but it just helps give a good overall look to my skin, which is something that then adds towards getting acne as well. This one I bought from Sephora when I went to France. I have used it before and then I went back and bought a second pack. It was so good. This is the Sephora Green Clay Mask. If you can get your hands this, I'd say really go for it. It is a purifying and pore perfecting face mask and like an exfoliating one, so it has got little bits in it. But I tend to, I get quite bad acne. I tend to put it on where the spots are, especially if they're like whiteheads and stuff. I put it on my other spots and I find it really helps to dry that area out and I'll just wash it off or wipe it off and I feel my skin looks so much better after. And it really kind of like decreases everything in size as well. This is a really nice one. Um, this one, I'm sure you're supposed to use it by a certain amount of time, but I only use a little bit at a time because I know it's so good. That I don't want to use it all up and then not be able to get back to France to get it again. But if you can get it from your local Sephora or online somewhere, then I'd say definitely go for it. There may be similar other clay masks which do similar things for your skin. So have a look into it and see. But always, this is a really good one for like purifying and everything as well. Lastly, I have two moisturisers. This one is the Olay Complete Lightweight Day Lotion. It's, it's a sensitive one, which is SPS 15. I have been using this one on and off for a few years now. It's just because it's such a good price. And it is a really nice lightweight moisturizer that you can just put on your skin. I use this one day and night. I know obviously it's the SPF in it so it's good for the day but obviously it's just an easy quick one to have at the bedside table and just to put on your skin at night and it sinks in really nicely too. This one doesn't really irritate my skin or anything. I wouldn't say it helps to stop acne or put towards it but it does just make my skin nice and once again give it a nice base. So when I do get blemishes come through, I can treat them quicker because this has already given me a good base for that. And finally, I have my favourite product, my favourite new product I've discovered. This is the Revolution SPF 30 Protecting Boost Moisturiser for normal to oily skin. I have literally got none of it left because I have used it all. I need to reorder it, but it's almost like £10 a jar. So I just haven't got around to reordering it yet. I went for the Olay one instead just because it was on offer and I managed to get two for the price of whatever it was. It does feel sometimes a bit filmy if you put it onto your skin. So I usually put my face oil on underneath it and then put this one on top. Again, I use this one day and night. That's why I've gone for it so quickly. But it really helps just to like balance out my skin even it out and everything. It has kind of prevented acne from coming through. I don't think there's a thing of, because it is a mattifying one, or it's meant for normal to oily skin, it is kind of mattifying that it does then stop so much oil production, so it stops much acne and everything as well. But this one is really, really nice. If you want just to get a new moisturiser anyway, I recommend going for this one. Everything just sinks in so nicely with this one. This is an absolute favourite of mine, and I will be rebuying it once I have the money to, I guess. I am using that only one at the moment, which I'm getting on with all right, so I don't really feel like I need to get this one just yet, but I will be restocking on it soon. Hopefully this video has given you some information on some of the skincare products. I know that I have struggled with acne for a really long time, like adult acne as well. I didn't really have that bad skin when I was a teenager. It's only been in recent years I have had quite bad acne. Um, I was on medication for it at one point, but that was quite a few years back now. So I haven't had medication for a while. And obviously my skin is always going through cycles. It is very like hormonal based and everything as well for my acne. So I know at certain times of the month, it will get worse for me. My skin will get worse. I'll break out a lot. And other times it will just be fine and really clear up. You can't look like everybody else and you're never going to look like everybody else. And everyone else has different skin or health issues and everything. And, and you can, you can cover it with makeup. You can fix it with products and medication. But at the end of the day, it's just how your skin reacts, how your body reacts. It's just all like 
just biology. It's all just like part of the body and how the human body works and everything. What works on one person's skincare and one person's health routines may not necessarily work for the next person, but it definitely does help to do your research and just try stuff out and see what works for you. I know there's been plenty of products recommended that I have tried before in the past and they just didn't really work for me, but other people swore by them. So this set of products might not necessarily help you, but hopefully it will encourage you to try some of them and you can see how you get on with your skin. A lot of acne products have tea tree in, but I find that doesn't really react very well to my skin and aloe vera as well. My skin doesn't seem to get on with those. So the typical sort of acne products that people would recommend had that in a lot of the time and I found that did break me out. So I tend to have to do a bit more of a different sort of thing when I'm looking for skincare products. Hopefully this video has helped you make some skincare choices. Let me know if there's any other products you think I should try or anything that's similar or like the next step up from these because I am still always researching skincare products and the next step that I can take for my acne. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.